Hi guys and welcome back to some more Civilization 5. We're back with some pretty crazy stuff that's probably coming up in this episode. Hope you guys enjoy it. Keep destroying that like button and let me know if you guys want to keep seeing more every day. Right, so we're back. Uh, everyone's into the modern era or half the civilizations are. Um, next row means six delegates for host. Uh, four delegates for other civilizations. And yeah, it seems pretty cool. So plus two delegates per city-state ally. We don't have many of those at the moment. Um, so basically I've got to vote for who's going to be the leader. Um, choose host. So we do just pick me, I guess. I'm not sure that's really going to help though, because we've got such. Everyone seems to hate us at the moment, so I'm going to put my three votes or four votes into voting for me, which is not going to work. I guess Poland's going to put 16 votes on himself. Even England has quite a few, but whatever. I mean, we could try and vote for England, but I'm not sure. Let's really go. Indonesia now has freedom as their ideology, which is good. I like that a lot. <laughs> we need that quite badly. Um, artillery, I think, going to send this direction. And Monaco, I've noticed they're going to try and raise the city, I think. I'm not sure. I think I saw that. So I need to do that in, like, very, very quickly, indeed. Um, we need to improve the situation over here. So perhaps do a market or a wall or something. Let's do a market. I like a market. Uh, Lisbon. What should we do in Lisbon next? Good question. Um, I get, reckon like a castle perhaps to try and improve defences. Or perhaps try and get some more food. Because we're not growing very quickly. Um, stock exchange? Actually, because we need, do need gold, don't we? Let's go for that. Move stacked units. I will move the stacked units. We've got Gatling gun over here. So I'm guessing Poland will attack again soon. Hence there's a few defences around. But not loads. Um, right, try and get a sea back. It's gonna, oh my god. Port is about to be destroyed. Oh my god, they're gonna kill it. But the peace trade, I think, is still intact, so we cannot attack. I don't think we can attack. This is not good. Um, yeah, we can't attack. Oh my god. What a joke. Let's retreat out then. Uh, I thought the facility state would be okay, but clearly I'm wrong. So I guess we have to build Porto up again um, using some settlers. So let's if we buy some settlers out right. Sorry about that, I did not know that would happen. Um, I've got some French infantry in here. I'm not sure when the 10 turns is up, I guess we'll find out fairly soon. It must be at least like nine more turns at least, so around two, five, seven or something around that. Um, I'll build some settlers. At least purchase some settlers. Purchase settlers, thank you very much. So you can go up there in the next turn. So it seems like Porto is about to be completely and utterly destroyed, which is so unfortunate. I am a little bit gutted. A little bit gutted indeed. What can you do? Next production. Cool house will be done in two turns. Finally, Fez can actually turn into a decent ish shitty city. And I'll bring the cavalry back to here. That went a bit wrong. I did not know that was going to happen. So it seems like Mon Monaco just wants to destroy the city completely, which is... To be honest, a sea state has never taken over uh, one of my cities ever. It's never happened to me ever. So I'm a bit new to it, but... Um, Brazil has adopted order. Ugh, why? Seems like I think the three civilizations have gone with order and two have gone with freedom. And now they're friends as well. God... Damn it, everyone just loves Poland, don't they? I love you, Poland. I will bend over backwards for you. So, geez. 